You guys are a bunch of sickos, I hope you know. Hello and welcome back to the dev channel. Due to heavy demand, this video is going to be about how to add aim down sights to a view model. This tutorial is going to assume that you have a functioning view model already. So if you don't have a functioning view model, you can either watch the video on screen, get your own view model, or there will be a model link in the description that you can use. The view model in the description is actually the same as the view model that I had you guys make in this video on screen. The only difference is that I tweaked the sway. So like if I go into this local script here, you'll see that the sway is slightly different. The previous sway on that view model was kind of janky, so I decided to recode it. And yeah, once you have your view model, let's get started. If you are using the view model that I put in the description, make sure that you drag all of these folders to their directed place and then ungroup them so this one goes into replicated storage and then you ungroup so on and so forth once that's done we're actually going to drag the view model back out of replicated storage so we can manipulate it how we're actually going to do aim down sites is we're going to have a part that basically is aligned with this little aim part here and we're basically just going to move the camera to it so obviously we're going to need to create a part what we're going to do is we're just going to create a part we're going to set it to be completely transparent and we're basically just going to set it to be like 0.1 size all around. Once we have that, we need to make sure that anchored is on and can collide is off. After that, we're gonna rename the part to be aim part, capital A, capital P. And now we're gonna reposition it. So basically we're gonna go into the view model. We're gonna make sure, actually before we even do anything else, we're going to make sure that everything in the view model has can collide to be off because if it has can collide on, I did not mean to ungroup it has can collide on then the moving of the view model is actually going to be like awful like you can't even move it to the part where we need it so we're going to make sure that everything can't collide anchored doesn't really matter as long as the gun is welded and everything so if you already have like an animated view model and you just want to add aim down sights then just make sure everything's welded once we do that we're going to get the part of the gun that we actually look down so i just need to find it here because i didn't name anything in this view model because i am a very smart individual we're basically just going to get the position of it and then we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it under the c frame bit in our uh, aim parts properties once we have that we're basically just going to reposition it so i like to have my aim parts more towards like the end of the stock and then slightly up and then we're just basically going to make micro adjustments regarding where the position is. Once you have your aim part in a position that you're comfortable with, you can just drag it into the view model. Make sure once you drag it, it's not like parented to something inside the view model, rather the view model's actual model. Once you do that, you can drag your view model back to wherever it is for this tutorial. It's just going to be sitting in replicated storage. And we're going to go to the local script that you use to actually manipulate the view model now. Everyone's gun systems are different. So if you have this view model in like let's say starter player scripts, like an actual framework, then it's gonna be here. It's wherever you manipulate the view model. Basically what we're gonna do is to start off is we're gonna define a couple variables. So at the top where your view model is like equipped or whatever, we're gonna make a new view model or new variable called aiming. And we're gonna set that equal to false. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a local aim CF, CF standing for C frame. This basically just creates a new C frame for us to manipulate. Once we do that, we're gonna make sure that user input service is defined in this script. And we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna do UIS uh, input began and connect that to a function with the keep input pass through. Once we have this, we're gonna get when the player hits right click. And in order to do that, we're gonna do the following. This is the if statement that we're gonna use to get when the player hits mouse two. And when they hit mouse 2, we're just going to set aiming to equal true. Once we have that, we can basically just copy and paste this function here. And then just change input began to input ended. And then change aiming equals true to aiming equals false. Once we have that, we're actually going to go into our run service.render step function. And here we're going to check if aiming then. This basically gets if the player is holding down right click in our render step. Because this runs anytime something is rendered or the game is running basically. It's been over half a year and I still don't know exactly what this function does. Please kill me. But yeah, basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually make our camera go to the aim part. So I'll code that and then I'll come back to you guys. This is basically a bunch of part moving mumbo jumbo. Basically all you need to know is that we need to define wherever our view model is right here. So if you have a custom view model thingy that isn't mine, make sure that whatever this path is, it's your view model. Same thing over here. So camera.viewmodel, you change that to whatever view model path you have. 
now we're actually almost done we're just going to change this end to an else and then we're basically going to copy and paste this right here and instead of having it do all this mumbo jumbo here we're just going to make it a, C a new c-frame yeah after that the final thing we need to do is just make sure that the camera c-frame is set to uh whatever so like you have the sway c-frame and then you have the aim down sight c-frame and believe it or not that's actually it so if i were to run this and i were to equip our m4a1 not only does our sway look a lot better than the previous version but now we have aim down sights it the sway also works with the aim down sights and yeah it's honestly very easy not that much code it's just a little bit of math and you also have to parent a bunch of stuff to some other things and yeah that's actually it for the video thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for requesting this although it did kind of drive me up a wall if you're new here and you like the tutorial even though it was kind of scatterbrained then make sure to subscribe i upload tutorials like this whenever i can and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye